Intel is finally bringing out the six core i5s and i7s known as Coffee Lake. One of the reasons why I find this really compelling is that it means that we're finally going to have six core mainstream processors from the blue side. It's about time they've gotten around to upping the core count being that today's technology and the programs and infrastructure that we're running all seem to require a bit more threads than they used to and the world is kind of going in that direction. As I stated before this is more of a business channel. What this means for businesses is productivity actually will start to go up. What most people don't realize is when it comes to productivity most businesses don't buy top of the line. In fact uh, most businesses don't get anywhere near top of the line. Places that depend on computers to do their jobs. What you will find mo most often is something like an Intel Core i5. That's just what you're going to find. In almost all the computers there, you're going to find mid-range. Why? Because mid-range works. The mid-range has been outselling the higher range of desktop processors for a very long time. And it, continue, it will continue to outsell and outperform in most business aspects the cost per performance ratio. It just makes more sense. Well, Intel also did something really funny when they did this. Uh, they finally came out and said, yes, AMD has it right uh, with the Ryzen lineup and kind of justified the failed bulldozer architecture at the same time. They're finally getting on board with the thought process that people need more cores. They need more resources to be able to do the work that once didn't take as much. I mean, even an Excel spreadsheet can use up a lot more resources in a computer than people realize, especially when you start getting into complicated projects. You have to take into consideration that many people will have on a daily basis using their computer for work, multiple things such as browsers, uh, Microsoft Office, uh, custom programs, you know, you name it, running all at the same time. Well, each one of these requires use of, you know, a thread. They require use of resources. And the old i5s, the four core, four thread i5s, really for business, don't do as much as businesses require. It takes more than that. I know because I deal with this a lot. I deal with the fact that most of your good accounting software requires two or three cores or threads for just that software to run effectively. I mean, it is resource intensive. Uh, these are resource hogs of programs. Most of the web browsers out there also require two or three threads. If you don't believe me, open your control panel once when you're looking at four, five, six different tabs at the same time and see how much memory and see how many threads actually have something running on them when that's the only thing you have open. As I stated, as far as business goes, we're finally getting to the point where we're going to start seeing the computers we've needed for business for the last three to four years. And that is at least a minimum of six threads. And finally, businesses are going to be upgrading to these because they carry the i5 or mid-range moniker and hopefully the mid-range pricing that goes along with that. Don't get me wrong, I would love to see many more businesses take advantage of what Ryzen has to offer as far as what it can do for a business. But at this point in time, I'm a very big realist and know that most of the market share is still going to belong to Intel. I decided to make this video mostly to congratulate Intel for finally catching on to uh, what the rest of the world already knew. Uh, computers need to get better at handling more tasks, and I'm glad to see that they're finally on board. So what do you think? Do you think your computers at work need more cores, more threads, a wider band of resources, or just slightly faster ones? Because that's all the tech industry has really done for the last five years with Intel being the only competitor. Again, uh, this is more of a business channel and I'd love to know what you think. And I do have other videos that I am currently working on and I know this is not uh, the kind of content I'm planning on doing very often. But this is actually a really big deal to the business world. The mid-range has always been the key in the business world and it will continue to be the key in the business world for 90% of computer users. 
And that is a large amount when you stop to think how many people use computers every day at their jobs. That's a lot of money going into someone's pocket, whether it's Team Red or Team Blue. So just think about it next time you're at work and you're sitting down and you're thinking, why won't this computer go a little faster? Think about all that, all the stuff that you're running. Think about all the different programs that you have to have running. And heaven forbid all the safety or security software that your employer has decided to put on your machine that is slowing it down to the speed of a snail. This is why this matters to business. This is why core count has mattered for a long time, and yet Team Blue has decided not to do anything about it until now. And even though I say that now, the now isn't until, I don't know, close to Christmas. So probably sometime next year, we will start to actually see these new 6-core i5s and 6-core i7s start infiltrating business and start being used for what they should be used for, which is work. So tell me what you think in the comments below. Let me know if there's anything you'd like me to go over or any topic you'd like me to discuss in a future video. Like I said, I am working on a couple other videos for some people who have uh, made questions, comments, and remarks. But as I said before, this is mostly about business. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know if there's anything you'd like to know. Thank you again for watching.